We're gonna have to make this a really fast video. I only have 20% left. Hello everybody. I hope everybody's having a good day. I know I am. I am sitting around a bunch of books. I'm reading, I'm writing, and right after this video I'm gonna work out. So let's get started into this. This is going to be my February book haul. And in February I had a couple bad days. So instead of eating or wallowing in self-pity, I decided to buy books, which I'm sure most of us in the book uh, tubing world do. So I went and bought quite a few books. And I was given of quite a few books too. So let's get started into this. Um, first, I'm going to uh, talk about an author that I actually discovered on YouTube because I am trying to be an author. I am trying to write. And his name is Scott Singler. He had very informative videos. I highly suggest if you are uh, wanting to be an author or a writer of any kind, go and check out his channel. He's on YouTube. I believe he has a Facebook page as well. Check him out. It was very helpful to me. So I decided to pick up one of his books, and it's nocturnal. Um, I read the synopsis. Of course, I can't remember it right now, but it seemed like a very interesting book, so I decided to pick it up and give it a try. I'm pretty confident I'll like it. There's not many books I don't like other than Star Wars books, but we'll get into that in a little bit. And then the next books that I got, I received, I received them from a client of mine. She brought in, we exchanged books between one another and uh, that's kind of our thing. And she got me three books. The Girlfriend Club, All You Can, All You Could Ask For, and The Light Between Oceans. This is a, this is a hard title to say. The Light Between Oceans. I don't know anything about these books, but she gave them to me. I will give them a try and pass them along. The next set of books that I got, they are Kathy Wright's books, and I got three of them. They're all hardcover. I'm shocked I can hold these all up. But, first one being Mortal Remains. This is just a book I didn't have in my collection. It was supposed to be a signed copy, but it is not signed. I didn't pay that much for it, so I'm disappointed, but it's okay. And then it's Speaking in Bones, this is the newest one that I'll be reading. And then her third book in the viral series, Code. Um, I'm, I've read virals, I'm now reading Seizures, and then I am continuing, so I decided to buy And then I decided to go along and try, to try out a high fantasy book that is well known. A lot of people have read it. Um, I decided to give it a try, although I did not mean to buy the mass market paperback version because of the length that it is. It is well over a thousand pages, so I am pretty nervous that I will never finish it, but I'm going to give it a try. And that is The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. So, yeah, look at that. There's massive. It's like that's like half my f fingers. It's crazy. So we're going to give it a try. If you've seen in my other videos, I have, I believe it's the UK edition of The Way of Kings Part 2. So I wanted to actually read it. And the, the Part 1, if I was been looking ever before it, and I can't find it under $50. So if you guys have any suggestions of how I can actually get my hands on the UK edition of Part 1, let me know in the comments, please. And the next set that I got, um, as you have watched my videos, you will see that I am reading the Lemony Snicket series. So I bought three and four, three being The Wide Window, four being The Miserable Mill. Um, I've heard a lot of people talk about this. My brother-in-law, Seth, who is usually on my channel, but he is in school and has to do adult things. So um, he cannot do a lot of videos with me, but he has owned these all and I want to own them all and pass them on to my nephew who is also a avid reader. So I decided to start collecting them. Also following the theme of the Lemony Sicket series, I've also decided to buy the How to Train Your Dragon series and also pass them on to my nephew. So I have the first one, which is actually right there. I'm sure you can see it. Yeah, I'm sure you can. Um, so I got number three and four. Um, yes, sorry, not three and four. 
two and three. Number two being how to be a pirate. And number three being how to speak Dragonese. I like that it's not like most books, but that it's like, uh, it's not like the movie, I'm sorry, it's not like the movie my dog came in and it distracted me. It's not like the movie where, uh, Hiccup, Hiccup, not Hiccup, um, Toothless is not this huge big dragon, he's actually a baby. So it's kind of interesting, I'm, I hope that he will become a big dragon, kind of like Toothless in the movies, but, you know, we'll see as it goes along. The next series that I got is by Rick Riordan. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, and that is The Heroes of Olympus. This is the first book in the series. I have not finished um, his Percy Jackson series and the Olympians. Um, I'm on book three and I'm working on it. So, And then also a book that my husband turned me on to. Um, actually, it's more the author instead of the book. The author has written several Star Wars books or has helped co-write several Star Wars books. And... I am not a fan of Star Wars books, honestly. I told him I would read it, but it is probably on the bottom of my TBR, which my TBR is about 300 books. So, yeah, I'll get to it eventually. But this one, Children of Fire, and it's written by Drew. Drew. It's written by Drew. Can't say his last name. Sorry, Drew. But it's written by him. Um, my husband read a couple of... Uh, of couple uh, paragraphs out of the Star Wars book and he writes very well and he uses words that we normally don't use and it was but you can understand it though so it was very interesting to listen to that so I wanted to give the author a try but I didn't want to read a Star Wars book so that's why I bought Children of Fire. Moving on the Bartimaeus trilogy the first book, The Amulet of something, Samarkand, I hope that's how you say it, uh, but this is the first book in the Bartimaeus series, um, so I wanted to read, and then I decided to get a couple books that were written by the same author, but they're part of, they're the first books of the different series of this author, and that is The Ranger's Apprentice, the first book in the series. And the Brother Band Chronicles, the first book in the series. I know nothing about these books. I just see them all the time in my local bookstore. So I decided to pick them up and give them a try. Then a brand new author that I have decided to start reading. Um, I know nothing about the author, but I really want to expand my author list, I guess. Find a new favorite author. That is one of my goals for 2016. So I decided to pick up Shadow Sun by... John Sprunk. So the next book in the series, in the amount that I have bought, is Robin Hobb books, and that is the Farseer trilogy. Assassin's Apprentice, really like this cover. This one is a little creepy, but I can buy what I afford. I buy what I can afford. There we go. Haven't had enough coffee yet today. And that is Royal Assassin. Um, I just need the last book in this series, but I decided to pick up the first two since, you know, they were a decent price. They were, I believe, two for three dollars. So I picked them up, and that is it. I got them. And the last thing that I want to say at the end of this series, that is, you know, that is the conclusion of what I bought for February. The this is in a bibliophobe, signing off.